a few exercises to help the lower limbs now. So first one is gonna be calf raises. Can be done with weights, but can be done body weight. Perfect for these are doing like when you're brushing your teeth, when you're waiting for the kettle to boil. So hands to the hips, simply, we're gonna come up onto our tiptoes and drop back down again. Up and down. Obviously, there's a lot more ways that you can advance this. You can do this on a step and with weights and then going into single leg. But today, we're just gonna go for a few reps, just body weight. So this is how you always start off with your strength training, body weight, it's a good way to start so that you don't fatigue the muscles too much. Because we all know what DOMS is like when we've done our first strength session. We're not aiming for that. Lovely last one. Well done, I didn't really count there, but there's our, our first set. So we should be aiming for three sets of 20 a couple of times a week, two, three times a week for calf raises. This is why I've put this one in here. Really simple exercise. And as I said, ways that it can be progressed. Okay. We're gonna do another set in three, two, one, let's go. Calf raises. Okay, I'm gonna count this time, we're gonna do 20. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good stuff, everyone. Nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, lovely, and 20. Good work, okay. Next, we are doing some hill walks and toe walks. Really good for, again, people that suffer with sort of calf issues and um, calf issues. And the other one I was gonna say is ankles. <laughs> Okay, so they are exactly what they say. So toe walks, you're simply just gonna walk up and down on your toes. I don't wanna see you walk out of the uh, way of the camera, but simply just walking. So this doesn't even have to be done in this routine. It can be done when you're walking around the house. But already I can feel this through the calves. So again, three sets of around 20 We'll just pick a spot which is sort of like 10 metres. Okay. Next up, we are going to do some hill walks. The so same thing but just walking on your heels. A bit hard on the mat. <laughs> you feel a bit funny doing it. But you don't have to do it around other people. And if they ask you, you're saying you're doing your running exercises. Okay, so again, three sets of 20 and I can really feel all of the muscles and ligaments and tendons in my lower feet, well, lower legs, sorry, and my feet really sort of starting to work. So perfect, three sets of those. Again, sort of 10 to 15 or 10 meters, whatever you can find. Okay, good for the ankles. So we're gonna do some flexion, and extension with the band. So with this band, I'm gonna pop it around the foot. I'm gonna pull the resistance back and from here, I'm gonna flex the foot, pull back in again, flex and drive back. So you're gonna push away from the band, pull back in. So even if you don't have problems with the ankles, it's good to do that. Then you've got inversion and eversion. So it's where you push the foot in and then you try and push it out. Try and in towards the body and then away from the body. Not so great on that one. Same thing, just a few on one side, and then we'll go on to the other. Get to push. 
fantastic. A few more. And there we go. Okay, so a few exercises, simple exercises done there. Next, we're going to move on to foam rolling. So foam roller, a lot of people don't really know what they're doing with it. It just sits in the corner and collects dust. But um, my physio, the treatment lab taught me that you should aim for a minimum of sort of 10 rolls per muscle group. So the main ones we want to focus on are calves, lower leg, hamstring, top back leg, quads, and adductors. Obviously glutes too, but they're the ones that people need to focus on. Roll it. So I'm going to pop hands just behind me slightly and I'm going to put one foot on. We're just simply going to foam roll, do up and down around 10 times. You can twist the foot, twist the leg, sorry. If you find a pressure point, you hold it there, slowly roll through. Okay, so I've got one foot down to support. If you want to make it harder, just wrap the other around and it applies a bit more pressure. So that's the calf. Okay, we'll move on to the other, other one and off we go. So if you need to move your hands around, I'm actually like rest, resting on my fists now, just to find it a bit more comfortable. Ooh, definitely feel my long run in my leg this morning. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the hamstrings. Exactly the same thing. Find it a bit more harder to foam roll. Really get in there. But, or maybe it's just that my calves are a bit more tighter than my hamstrings. But same thing, around 10 rolls on one side and then the other. You can do them both together, but I don't think you're isolating the muscle as much. So it's better to do So twist the leg slightly, not too much that you're getting onto that IT band, but just rotate, really get in. And then you can, you can start working up towards the glutes. Sometimes it feels quite nice. Roll in. And forwards. And back. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the quads. So it looks a bit awkward, but I'm going to put one quad on. Have each knee just props out the side to support. And as I said, 10 rolls, forward and backwards. You might want to spend a bit more time on your quads because sometimes they're a part where people uh, suffer a little bit more. Good, okay, last one I'll quickly show you is the adductors. So this is the only one where the foam roller goes out side to side. Before, so in this way. So adductor onto it, simply gonna roll side to side. Really getting in, again, it looks silly, but really getting into that muscle group because it's one that often gets neglected. And if they're tight, really doesn't help here with your running. And it's not a muscle group that you think you use often. See, it again, does look silly, but we don't care. It's gonna help us in the long run. Fantastic, okay. Spiky ball next. Move this out of the way. So simply foot over this ball. You're just gonna roll your foot over, front to back, side to side, circles. Again, this can be done at any time. A lot of people, a lot of clients that I know like stick a ball underneath their desk. Good, okay. So yeah, a few more rolls. You can do this as much as you like in the evening. This just helps all of the fascia underneath the foot. 
and it's really good for people that might have so if you've got tight calves which then leads to shin splints this is really good because the muscle underneath the foot comes all the way up here into the Achilles so and then into the calf so any problems that's a really good one for superb okay just a few stretches to finish off with now um, <clears throat> these are just going to be some simple exercises but um, I would always recommend doing obviously as much as you can these have been um, so again physio said that you should always follow up foam rolling with stretching so what happens is is that when you're foam rolling you're stretching out the muscles and if you don't stretch them and hold them there for long enough they're just going to go back shorten and then that's obviously that what makes our muscles tight what makes it difficult to run so first one we're going to hold butterfly stretch so you want to hold this for about 20 seconds just hold it here move your feet closer to you to get a deeper stretch we'll take it away to make it a bit easier but the aim is to try and get your knees down to the floor stretch all the way through here feel really nice okay next up we're going to go into a stretch for the hamstring so you're going to reach out forwards touching your toes quite a simple one here again another 20 seconds hold that there if you want to use the resistance band this is quite a good one a variation you're going to lie down on the floor put one foot up you're going to pull down on that band you want a straight leg then you can pull down and pull this leg towards here and you're going to get a nice deep stretch through the backs of the legs there so that's a variation for you okay a calf stretch so one simple one is a downward dog where you pedal out the feet you're going to get a stretch through the backs of the legs but just your box down to calf stretch set one foot in front of the other push both heels down but really focus on that back heel if you need to just shimmy around your position just so you get that stretch through the calf we just hold it here nice okay change sides Other side good and you can also finish this off by similar to the hamstring reach but just stretching down okay next off we're going to stretch off the quads so front front I can never say this front thigh muscle so i'm going to grab one ankle bring both knees together and then from here you're going to push the hips forward this way you really get a nice stretch through that quad you can also do it laying down if you can't grab your ankles so laying down on the floor grab the knee both knees in line get that stretch through the quads here good okay change it on to the other side Nice, both knees together. Oh, that's for balance slightly there. Hold it here for a few more seconds. Good, okay, next off into a side lunge stretch. Okay, holding that side lunge. Fantastic, good, over to the other side. Really stretch through the adductors. Good, change over a little bit more. And then the last one, we're going to come back into a child's pose. Just stretching out for the whole session. Try and sit your hips. Um, hips back to your heels. And there we are. So there, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this guided session. So now you should know what the uh, resistance bands exercise are with their funny names. And also just a way to take you through some other stretches um, and activation exercises to help you and your running out. So thank you very much for watching and for joining us. And I hope that you can repeat this many times to help you become a stronger, fitter and faster runner.